Alright, today we have another damage analysis video. We compared poison and fire damage in our last video, and we conclusively proved that poison and fire are adding the same amount point for point. Uh, given the same percent, um, they will add the same amount of damage to your attacks. What we want to find out today uh, is how 40% uh, poison or fire, we'll look at poison, um, but it applies to both, how 40% poison or fire compares to 20% warrior or 10% all damage. So I have set up a special set of gear uh, to compare those stats. And I had three goals for this set of gear. Uh, the first goal was to get melee resistance to 100%. And the reason we get melee resistance to 100% is just to make testing easier. Um, we have some while full health, crit chance and damage. Um, because we want to have a big multiplier, because we want to compare how warrior and poison damage scale in our in-game builds. Um, we don't really care what they look like at lower values. Um, but we could also, if we had lower values, if we had no multipliers here, we could draw conclusions based on what we're seeing um, that extrapolate badly. Um, it's like trying to draw uh, a line between two points. Um, if the two points are really close together, uh, your mind might be slightly off. If your points are much further apart, um, your line is going to be more accurate. So the, the curve for damage scaling is going to be more accurate with the bigger multiplier. Uh, and the melee resistance, since we're fighting lions, uh, is going to make sure that these are always on. And the third thing we wanted, the most important thing, is for poison damage percent, uh, which is 230.2%, to be equal to warrior percent, which is 230%. Um, we've done that by carefully selecting these gear pieces um, so that they all line up. Uh, we're going to be only using the spear because we don't want to have any weapon damage in this test because the weapon damage would multiply our warrior damage for that weapon type. Uh, and we don't want to do that. Uh, we already know that weapon damage multiplies warrior damage and doesn't multiply poison damage. Um, so we're going to take that out of the test. And when we go to the conclusion, we will factor that in to how we rate the three, uh, how we rate poison damage versus 20% warrior and 10% all. Uh, and then we have crit chance and crit damage. We have warrior damage. We have melee resistance. Nothing else. Uh, crit chance and crit damage. Poison damage and nothing else. Uh, just to get an apples to apples clean comparison uh, between the two. So I will gather a lot of data, and then later in the video I will have. Uh, an analysis of the data that shows the average um, of with and without poison that shows the amount that each is adding after you subtract out base damage uh, and what conclusions we can draw on what stats we should get for our builds and if there are any significant inflection points for which stats are better um, inflection points on damage with weapon type and we're looking for numbers on a light attack from the front without poison applied. And we're seeing one, 146k, 147k, there was a 150 something, 140, this looks like a 140 to 150, 144, 137. Now it's important that we only compare the same hits versus the same hits. We can't look at the second hit in the combo because the second hit in the combo is different than the first. Uh, and each hit in the combo has a slightly different damage modifier. So to, to be absolutely sure uh, that we're only testing apples to apples, we need to always make sure that we're testing the same hit versus the same hit. So we're only going for that first light to be very consistent in what we're test in uh, what we're comparing. And it looks like against all of these, we're seeing a bare minimum of 137, 138k to a maximum of 150ish in terms of damage see this melee resistance is making it a lot easier to very consistently only compare one type of attack to the same type of attack. Okay, I'm going to do a quick 
load. We're expecting much bigger numbers um, because of the poison damage. Um, but we can't contribute all of that damage to poison. We can only contribute the damage that's added to poison. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add up the numbers. out the average from the first test in order to make only the contribution contribution from poison in order to make sure. Um, we've already got a kind of good idea here though. Before we were seeing uh, high 130s to 150 um, that kind of damage range. So if poison was exactly equal to warrior damage, given that they are the same percentage of contribution, we would be expecting to see um, anywhere from uh, 260, uh, 260k, 270k, uh, all the way up to maybe uh, high 200s, maybe even a 300k. Uh, now, I don't think we've seen that. I think we've seen 240s, 220s, 230s, 238. 240s.
All right, so we gathered all of that data. We compiled it in the spreadsheet, because that's what we do. We write spreadsheets. Uh, we have a column for normal damage. We have a column for damage with the poison applied. Um, so we're going to take averages of those. Uh, average normal damage, 144,626. Average with poison, 246,554. Uh, here I am taking the standard deviation divided by the average to get um, the percent uh, range around the average of the standard deviation. This gives me an idea of how big a damage spread we're looking at uh, between hits uh, on the two data sets with and without poison. We're expecting these two percentages to be very similar and they are uh, and that's good. That's what we want them to be. So the next step would be to get the damage contribution of only the poison stat and only the 230% warrior damage stat. We would have to take out the other things that are in these numbers. Uh, so on the poison side, that's pretty easy. We just subtract um, the not poison side from the poison side uh, to get the difference, which is 101,839. Uh, and I added an extra factor here of 0.999, blah, 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 blah based on that extra 0.2% that the poison had, uh, just to try and eliminate that small advantage that poison did have in the numbers to give us um, a damage contribution, in this case, of 101,839. On the warrior side, it's a little bit more complicated, um, but still relatively easy. The warrior damage we had in the video was 230%. Uh, so in order to get total damage, from base, we would take base times 1 plus warrior damage. In this case, we have total damage, and we're trying to get back to base damage, so we would want to take total damage divided by 1 plus warrior damage. Uh, in this case, that would give us a base damage of 43,826. And then we would need to subtract that from the average damage we saw from our normal hits in order to only get the damage that the warrior damage component, the 230% is contributing, and not the damage we would get if we had 0% warrior damage, because that part we get for free. And then we're going to compare the two, and if we compare the two, it's they're almost identical. Poison is slightly higher, about 1,000 damage higher, which is a little less than 1%. Um, that is a very, very tiny difference. I am betting that the actual difference is zero, um, but if there is a difference, that's the difference we're observing. If you want to think about it in terms of base damage, um, we're in the, using the right hand. Uh, so that means a base damage of 2,470 plus the equipped weapon, which is an epic at level 99 for a DPS of 7,829. Uh, for a total base of 10,299, uh, this data conclusively shows that the poison base, if it's different from the warrior base, is slightly larger at 10,373. The next thing that we would be interested in for our builds, uh, any damage uh, that we deal with a weapon is going to be multiplied by the damage with stat uh, in your inventory sheet. You can see this really easily by just applying some damage with stat. Uh, what you'll end up seeing is that multiplicative effect. Effectively what that means is that um, at the damage with stat multiplies the warrior damage and the all st and the and the all damage stat, but they don't multiply the poison damage stat. So at zero percent, we see what we see above, which is that forty percent poison roughly equals forty percent warrior, uh, twenty percent warrior and ten percent all. Obviously, they are just twenty and ten. Uh, but as we increase our damage with stat, uh, the effectiveness of warrior and all damage go up. Uh, so if we get fifty percent more. Uh, then compared uh, to at 0%, where it was 20 versus 40, here it's roughly a 30 versus 40. At 100%, we're seeing 40 versus 40, with it, which is damage parity between 40% poison and 20% warrior. It's at this point, when you are at 100% damage with or above, where you would want to engrave 20% warrior instead of 40% poison, uh, whenever that is an option, uh, or 40% fire depending on um, if you're going poison or fire. We did show in the other video that poison and fire are equal base damage wise. Um, so the conclusion we can draw from this data set is that if poison and fire are equal and poison and warrior are equal, then therefore fire and warrior are equal. Uh, and this is going to be the exact same inflection point for that. Um, 
we never hit the inflection point where 10% all damage would equal 40% poison damage, however. The maximum you can possibly get is 140%. Uh, that's 30% on both melee weapons and one armor piece and for mastery, plus a 20% damage with weapon and weapon on the same armor piece. Uh, so you can get damage with swords and daggers, you can get damage with heavy weapons, or you can get damage with staffs and spears. Um, that only shows up in one armor slot, uh, so we get one 20, extra 20% from that for a total of 140. 10% uh, all is still behind at this point, and it's not going to catch up unless somehow we get to 300%, uh, but that's impossible, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, so the easy conclusion we can draw here is that at under 100% damage with, poison is better than warrior or all damage. Uh, in terms of the stats that appear on gear. At over 100%, 20% warrior damage is the best, followed by poison, followed by all damage in a distant third. Uh, and that's the facts.